What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores and welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street. Spring has finally arrived. It may already be summer because it's hot out there and we've got 12 new pieces from Zara. Spring summer collection. The favorites in store right now starting with this jacket which I absolutely love. It's the only jacket we have today because it is getting hotter but I love the color palette. You have some Bordeaux, some black and a couple shades, a couple more neutral shades in here which are gonna make it really great to combine with, as you can see, a lot of different neutral colors and it just works. So if you're going for a lighter summer wardrobe, this is a great staple. This is actually a size 50, I will usually go for a size 48, but for one, they didn't have it. And two, it's a bit more relaxed, which I like in the summer, it gives you a little bit more room to breathe. You can push up the sleeves and wear it a little bit more casually. It's a wonderful piece, and you actually have like a little fun pocket square detail, which I'm not sure I'm crazy in love with. If you want, you can just like tuck it in. <laughs> you need to open the pocket first, but you can tuck it in, or you have that option right here. So piece number one, and then we're jumping straight into shirting. Here we have a beautiful mandarin color shirt. Once again, natural color palette. We got white and a beige. Mandarin colors are amazing because in the summer you get sweaty and things get moving around. There's friction and it actually might cause you some bruising around the neck. That's why mandarin colors are just more relaxed. They give you a little bit more freedom around the neck. And it's also, it's nicely fitted but still somewhat breathable. It's really nice and light fabric. Really important in the summer. And that's the first option we got today in long sleeve. Then we have a short sleeve shirt. I saw this from across the store and I fell in love. This is like a, the base color is once again natural beige, but then there's blue and yellow stripes, which from afar almost looks like green. Absolutely love this. The vertical stripes and the overall dad vibes are two of the big spring trends that are going on. If you haven't seen my spring trend video, check that out right here. There's a lot that we have here. There's monochrome dressing, there's some side stripes that we're getting to later. I love this piece a lot. It's breathable, you can layer it, you can unbutton it. It's got a casual, cool vibe to it. That's our first short sleeve option. And we have a second short sleeve option, another trend, floral printed dress shirts. This is not a dress shirt, it's a casual shirt. Once again, it's also kind of dad vibey. I love this palm print. I like that we have the like black base on the bottom hem. Usually I don't go for a black and white contrast. I think for me, it, it, it's, it's a lot of contrast, especially when the sunlight hits it directly. But here, I don't know, I don't mind it so much. We've got just a nice flowy fabric that's gonna drape beautifully and really gonna allow for your body to breathe and stay cool, because it's summer and it's hot. And that's why we have a linen t-shirt. Somebody pointed out recently in a video that I skipped out on the fabric linen, which yes, I did because it was actually just still too cold. Now we're getting into spring, summer, and linen is an absolute staple in my wardrobe for the summer. This t-shirt is just beautiful. It's a simple white t-shirt, but you have a nice seam across the chest, and you have a little zipper up here on the shoulder to get in a bit more easily because linen just doesn't stretch and you don't want to rip it. So Zara made it easy for you. And we got this piece right here, which I, I'm in love with. It's, it's simple, but just still more elevated than another cotton t-shirt. And then speaking of t-shirts, and speaking of the heat, you don't want to layer. Layering gets really difficult as the temperatures rise, and if you were to wear a basic white t-shirt underneath this beige melange oatmeal color t-shirt, you'd die. Not literally, but you know what I mean. So here it's just suggested that you're wearing a second t-shirt underneath. It's just sewn in around the sleeves and around the neck and I think it makes for a beautiful staple. It's more on the basic side, but I just fell in love with the fabric. It just fits into the color palette so well. Like this could be an entire wardrobe, honestly. Next up, we got something very basic, but every season I find myself looking for the best tank tops around and I find it really hard to find a good tank top. So I personally like this a whole lot. You got a nice little simple pocket right here. I got this a size larger because I like it to be a little bit more relaxed, but you got enough space around the armhole. So it's nice and breathable. It drapes nicely. And it, this might just be the most versatile piece in here that I wear the most because you can wear this, I don't know, underneath this shirt or even underneath the blazer if you want to make this a lot more casual. It just works really well. Moving on to bottoms. First up, we got two jeans and jeans, yes, they get a little hot, but I like wearing distressed jeans in the summer and these are beautiful. First of all, it's a really nice and light wash, which once again, just works for the color palette and a lighter wardrobe in the summer but they're really nice and tapered towards the bottom, like really nice and tapered, which I like. I got skinny ankles and I still love that look. Almost hard to get out of, but I love these jeans. They're just a great staple for the summer for the more casual look. And then we got a second option right here, a darker wash, also nice and tapered, but with, as I mentioned before, another spring trend integrated, a white stripe along the side of the pants, make them just a little bit more fun, make them a little bit more sporty, make them a little bit more interesting than a simple blue jean. And I honestly, I had seen them a lot on the street, jeans like this and it took me a while to get used to them but now I saw them in the store yesterday and I was like, you know what, time to pull the trigger. Second jean. Now, 
This, this might just be my favorite pant here for the summer. Linen drawstring pants, relaxed and vertically striped. It's just a nice pattern. They feel nice, they flow nicely. Look how nicely they flow. And they're just a little bit more relaxed throughout the entire leg. So what I like to do with linen pants is I roll them up a little bit just so they look more tapered. But these are absolutely comfortable and great for the summer. Great to be combined with a lot of these pieces. Whether you want to dress them up or down, it honestly doesn't really matter. But if you want to dress up, for sure, I would go with these beautiful, naturally colored dress pants. Really nice and light fabric, and that's really important when you're trying to wear a suit in the summer because if you wear this jacket together with a shirt and these pants, you got long pants and long sleeves, what's most important is that the fabric's really light and breathable because otherwise you're just not gonna make it. I love these. I, once again, I roll them up too. It's my thing in the summer. I just roll up pants all the time because it makes my ankles breathe and I still think it looks cool and it's been a trend for a while. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it. And you can just wear them nice and tailored all the way down to the ankle. Last up, we've got shorts. Now, I'm not a big shorts guy, now, nor am I a big jogger guy or sweatpants guy, but these guys are amazing. Really nice and simple, beautiful color. Once again, you've got a nice little detail. They're just nice and clean. The pockets are somewhat hidden, comfortable, and you can also dress these up if you want to. You can wear them together with a dress shirt uh, or with a tank top, doesn't matter. You can really have fun with these, be comfortable, and look cool. There's a lot of ways you can combine them. And speaking of which, if you guys want to see the lookbook video coming out, styling all these pieces in five different looks, that's coming up really soon, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out when I upload it, because this is going to be really fun and I think you guys are going to like it. That's already it for today. I want to see you guys down below in the comment section. Let me know which ones are your favorite pieces. Do you think I missed anything in the Zara store? For right now, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, stay dapper.